title unification fight this weekend. Lewis Neri, WBC champion, takes on Brandon Figueroa, the WBA regular champion. This is a super bantamweight fight. Main event of the evening on Showtime. Should be a pretty exciting matchup between two high-volume fighters. We'll quickly take a preview and look at some of their recent bouts. If you look at the side of Neri, the WBC champion, Aaron Almeida in the last one beat him by a dominant unanimous decision. Granted, 115-113 was what one judge saw. I will give Almeida credit. Gave some quality work to his opponent, Luis Neri, who's very high level, but ultimately wasn't landing fight ending or significant significant punches but doing enough to not get finished and Neri is a guy known for knocking his opponents out you look I mean he makes you quit or he puts you down you look you put down Payano in nine um, made Mick Joe Arroyo quit retirement technical decision there I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you you look down at the resume for a guy fighting in the bantamweight division the power of Neri is terrifying 24 knockouts out of 31 fights 77% of his wins are by knockout. You look at the other side, though. Brandon Figueroa is no easy fight, and he's got some pop in the hands, too. 21 wins, 16 wins by knockout. Look at some of the opponents. Damian Velasquez, draw with Julio Ceja, which wasn't the best for his career, but at the end of the day, opponent came in overweight badly by, I think, four pounds. Can't really be all that upset with the performance with with the opponent having that you know natural size advantage being that much bigger and not cutting the extra four pounds it definitely plays a factor but let's talk about the matchup in this fight some things the fighters do well we'll first talk about the underdog Brandon Figueroa here a southpaw and he definitely likes to switch up the stances which is becoming a lot more common in boxing and MMA really if you look um, at points, it was almost frowned upon to fight out of both stances, but Figueroa does mix it up fairly well in southpaw and in orthodox, especially when closing distance coming inside. And for a taller guy, he actually really likes to fight on the inside. Some good punches that I see out of him is definitely that lead hook on either side, orthodox or southpaw. He actually has a really nice lead hook. Granted, in southpaw, it's going to have a little, more, a little more pop behind it, and I feel like it's a bit faster. I feel like for his weight class, though, being five foot nine, if you're on the side of Figueroa, you're fighting a guy against Neri here who has some serious power. I think he should look to stay more on the outside and fight more from there. But that's just not his style, and I really don't expect him to come into this fight with that game plan by any means. You look at Figueroa, he's an inside fighter, realistically. He likes to be in those phone booth fights, even though he's 5'9". Wish you would use that reach a bit more, but tends not to. High punch output, though. Brandon Figueroa throws a lot of punches. And now let's talk about the opponent on the other side. The favorite... The WBC champion, I think, very good boxer. A guy at 26 who's looked phenomenal as of late. Southpaw, he moves in and out of range extremely well. Now, being a shorter fighter uh, against a guy, I mean, like Figueroa, if he's working the jab from the outside, Neri does have excellent movement to get inside. He closes range at a very high level. I believe he'll get inside here with Figueroa, but I also believe Figueroa will probably come inside himself, which could be seriously dangerous for him. Neri, an aggressive guy when he sees the opportunities. If he knows he has a chance, he has you a bit hurt, he's going to put it on you, he's going to pressure you, and he's going to look to get you out of there. That's why he has so many finishes. He likes to enter the pocket with really big hooks from both sides. He'll mix the hooks to the body and to the head and honestly his hooks are devastating you look at the body attack he puts on the opponents he tends to do it early and then you see it pay off later look at the piano fight put him down fatigued him with the big shots to the body i think similar game plan here against figueroa and again a guy with extremely high punch output a guy that throws a ton of strikes and honestly is in very entertaining fights on a regular basis. And that's why this matchup here is an excellent matchup. It's a unification bout. This is the type of match I love to see in boxing. Two guys, both undefeated, both champions of the world fighting each other. May the best man win it. Now, looking at the stylistic matchup, I really got to lean Lewis Neri in this one. He's a fairly strong favorite around the minus 300. Let's quickly look. Um, if those are accurate, around minus 240, minus 230. Does Figueroa have a chance? You're sure. He does. But I don't necessarily feel he has 
anything to significantly threaten Lewis Neri with unless he caught him with, you know, a check hook or something in an awkward position. But I don't think Neri is a guy that's any bit chinny, and I don't see him out of position very often. He's very fast. He moves well. He's going to get it inside on Figueroa. He's going to do the better work. He's going to land the bigger punches. But does he put away Brandon Figueroa? Let's look at Figueroa's career. Undefeated, right? Does have the draw versus Julio Ceja. Damon Velasquez in his last one, he won that fight by a stoppage. But let's look at Neri's last few. Besides Aaron Almeida, who went the distance with him, got to say that man deserves due respect there. Stoppages, stoppages, stoppages. Beats up everybody he fights. Now, I don't think that his opponent here in um, Figueroa, Brandon Figueroa, his brother Omar Figueroa, also a very good fighter. I don't think he goes down any bit easy. I think this guy is going to be extremely legit and, and here to fight. I think he's probably going at least to round nine. I do have a feeling that we'll see Neri get him out of there around the 10th round. I think he could put it on him. I think he could put him down. But a guy who's undefeated at 21-0-1, can I guarantee that he gets put down? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I'm going to pick Lewis Neri, knockout round 10. But 100% possible we could see this fight go in the distance. I think that Figueroa has the tools, though, to sit in there for 10 rounds. And I do think he'll win a couple rounds. I think he could win, seriously, if it goes 10 I think he wins at least two, at least two to three. I, I do. I think he has decent moments in the fight, and I think he does make a fairly decent name for himself here, even in defeat as a world champion coming in against a guy who's maybe poised to be a very popular boxer, maybe a future star of the sport, because Lewis Neri at the bantamweight class, super bantamweight, has dynamite power in the hands, and honestly, fans love knockouts, especially the more casual fans. This guy delivers them. Let's quickly look at some bets. If you want to bet Neri straight up at minus 240, you definitely could. Uh, unlikely he gets knocked out or loses here with something crazy but if he were to lose I'd say check left hook by Figueroa maybe off a stance switch crazy guess highly unlikely but I gotta bring up the possibility of that happening Figueroa wins by decision I don't think so Neri wins by TKO or DQ plus 110 don't love it fight goes to decision plus 110 fight doesn't go to decision minus 149 over 10 and a half under 10 and a half. there's some okay plays here Let's see if we can get Neri wins just by a knockout. Then we have him at that for the plus 110. Neri wins a decision at plus 188. Neri wins in round number 10. Is plus 2,000. I mean, if you're feeling Mystic Mac-like, but at the end of the day, just sprinkle it. Don't play stupid here. Neri wins in round 10 to 12 now i like these props more if i'm gonna be propping up 10 to 12 is plus 900 nary wins 7 to 9 plus 450 to plus 500 i like the the value in these odds at the end of the day i don't necessarily love the boxing props you know the fights are a lot longer and at the end of the day the there's plenty of crazy stuff that can happen, but the gloves are also bigger. Normally, when we're talking about MMA, we jump on props a lot more. Boxing, I'm going to say, be very cautious with the props you play. I think you could succeed on a 7-9 to nine or a Neary wins in rounds 10-12. to 12. Either has decent value, maybe sprinkle both if you're looking to bet props on this fight. I don't necessarily think he gets it done before the seventh round. At the earliest, I think seven. I got to give Brandon Figueroa the respect from the skill set that I've seen out of him. I think he can still last into at least the seventh round, but I do think he makes it into the ninth, tenth. And I think the tenth is where we see him put, put down. But at the end of the day, we could also see him go the distance. If you like the idea of a decision, plus 110 fight goes to the decision and you don't have to worry about who wins that decision. Overall, though, not the best betting spots on this fight. As with kind of boxing in general, uh, just some of the matchups, you know, don't have the best odds. And I mean, if you look, some of these other fights this week have some massively widespread odds. At least the Neri Figueroa fight, you know, is valuable enough that even at minus 240, if you're confident in Lewis Neri, you'd want to throw down some money. Uh, but with a, you know, minus 2150 price tag, highly unlikely that you do so. Overall, though, pretty good fight in the main event here on Showtime. Lewis Neri, Brandon Figueroa, we are riding Lewis Neri, not out round number 10 should be a very exciting high level boxing matchup here if you're new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to we cover boxing and mma two best sports on the planet like subscribe if you're new here if you're not subscribed keep keep it locked in here mma experts we're we're here to stay and we're covering all things combat at this point and also guys social media instagram twitter tiktok 
Check me out. I'll be in the description. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.